Greetings. In this video about what is happening with the crypto market now, why it is falling, how long it will last, when to expect the alt season, how to determine that it has come, what to trade for potential coins in the alt season. I guarantee that most of you will be surprised by the words that I will say in this video. The video is important, so watch it to the end. It will be short. Before starting, I remind you that on the link in the description, there is a bonus link to register on the Bybit exchange with a bonus of $100 for registration and the first deposit. If you do not have a deposit, it is $100. For example, you will be given only 10. If you have a large deposit, you can get from 350 and above there, usually plus or minus. Everyone is given $100. The conditions are quite simple to get this bonus. Well, about crypto and those of you who are subscribed to my Telegram channel, they saw that I posted a post recently that Bitcoin can be worth $100,000 the other day. Let's explain what it is, why I wrote this, and what's going on after that. Pay attention to the all high. That is, here it's the last high. We're breaking through it. And what's happening? Well, a slight pullback. The volumes are there. But let me even show you a chart from Binance. Here it is. Well, I closed the volume a little with my webcam, but pay attention, all-time high was almost a couple of dollars more or less before it. A big surge in volume, a sharp sell-off, knocking out of all longest, there is also a sale and an instant buyout of declining volumes. We come back with a squeeze, that is, we have the all higher level, the big seller has won back his volumes from the level, after which, it's just that you can't see the seller a decrease in volumes and a squeeze to the level. I don't have such a bullish setup. I've never seen it in the market at all. Trading 2018, and I wouldn't be surprised if Bitcoin, after such a squeeze, would suddenly fly away by an impulse of 100,000, like what happened in 220, 2021. Well, like some kind of maximum compression and just vertical takeoff, something like that had to happen. And what's more, I wouldn't just not be surprised. I was expecting such a move to write about this in the Telegram channel. Nothing of the kind happened. There is a surge in volumes. There is there is a vertical takeoff. There is, but he stopped quickly. Here it was already clear that something was wrong. The power should be bigger. What has it led to? Led to a decrease. That is the absence, not even the, there is a lack of power. There is a lack, a lack. This force leads to the market starting to sell. Bitcoin has been pushed below this level already and today, being Saturday, well, I'll most likely post this video on Sunday. It turns out that on Saturday, on an off day, when the stock markets don't work, when these crypto exchanges don't work, with a bearish engulfing, they simply broke through this level. Even though on Friday it was already bought out, nevertheless on Saturday. Such movement continues. It is significant. One must keep an eye on it. Moreover, pay attention to what is happening with Solta. It does not respond with growth during the Bitcoin decline. That is, there is no inverse correlation here. I will move this now so you can see this is not money overflow into the Alta. No, the Alta is crumbling with Bitcoin. There isn't even any precedent for any one coin that would have skyrocketed during this period. It's not like... It was in year 2000, for example, the 17th, 18th year, when during a Bitcoin pullback, the altar shot. No, it doesn't. It's also rolling back. That is to say, this suggests that the altcoin season hasn't yet arrived. For example, I assume that there hasn't yet been a peak force. This is far from the maximum, because at the peak we have to take off vertically and nearly double with one impulse. Something similar happened here, but we still haven't reached the maximum. We are only just now approaching it. The halving is in a month and somewhere. By that time, such movements will begin. Currently, what's happening is a correction. Knocking out stops, long traders, liquidations and selling of altcoins. I draw your attention once more. We will go through the coins in order. Just what happens with them. Let me go back. Here we go. Ethereum has pulled back. Binance coin is one of the few coins that is still at its peak. And even it has a bearish engulfing pattern. 
It's simply hail like either a double top or even a wedge is forming. I've been watching this all day long. Solana, probably. The only coin right now that is still going strong, knocking out short traders, closing them out by liquidations, an ascending triangle, an exit. Upstairs, everything is generally beautiful. Everything is fine. Right here, it's somewhere upstairs. The only thing is, everything else looks like this, roughly. Okay, seems to be good. Let's open Neo, for instance. The same thing I'll open that happened to it. The bottom is painted. Either a double bottom, or head and shoulders, or a cup with a handle. It doesn't matter, patterns are similar. There's a pattern level. Breakthrough seems like the retest of this patterns level. Essentially, we are holding on here. This is a good point entry into a long. Seems like a potential even without alt season. At a minimum, the size of this pattern here. To the top, good trade, good. But if it looks alright, over there you can also find similar patterns with other coins. Let's see what's happening with... In other words, there's clearly no alt season here. It hasn't arrived yet. The alts aren't firing off vertically yet. And what we're seeing with some coins is merely a lingering effect. Because Bitcoin has grown so much, someone is getting out of it locking in their profit and then jumping into some alt. This isn't a common scenario, it's selective, specific. And if you were to look at an alt against Bitcoin or its dominance, you'll see that in reality far less money is being invested in altcoins than in Bitcoin. Bitcoin's influence is only increasing. Let's take a good look at altcoins against Bitcoin. What's happening here? Here's what alt season looks like and what it doesn't look like. This is just a sideways movement, with Ethereum merely following Bitcoin. Ethereum's growth is simply due to an inflow of money into Bitcoin, nothing else. It's not growing against Bitcoin. Bitcoin Cash, which seemed to have rocketed upwards, is almost reverting to its downwards trend against Bitcoin. Perhaps Binance coin is just barely escaping its downward trend and Betan coin has also rocketed upwards. This is simply how it appears. Take note, almost all coins are looking at their bottom or are somewhere near the bottom or are about to drop off. Bitcoin is still a bit lower, the old coins will drop even more and break through their next bottom. This is not an alt season. Alt season is when coins spike up against Bitcoin like this. This is alt season. Whether it will happen, or whether it's approaching, is another matter. We observe that there was no vertical surge in Bitcoin after the old time high. The market is receding, money is not overflowing into altcoins during this period. For the most part, the altcoins, as you can see, are dropping along with Bitcoin. It stands to fall against Bitcoin and give a downward impulse and will dip even more. The question then arises, what to do? Firstly, before this straight, I fixed all my medium-term positions and made a good profit on it. Secondly, I'm currently out of the market, with almost no trading going on, except what is opened during streams. You can track the streams on this YouTube channel, I hardly trade anything. In fact, with a few exceptions, I also showcase on Instagram when I'm going to enter. I'll enter Bitcoin in the medium term, I'll take it as it's stronger than the alt market now. As soon as I see there's no single coin like BNB breaking its trend line against Bitcoin, I'll be all over the altcoins. When it breaks through its trendliness against Bitcoin, when they start to surpass some significant levels, when the market no longer looks like this, I'll already turn to alts and will trade not Bitcoin, but alts which can happen at the moment when alts take off like this on the principle of past alt seasons, well, X versus Bitcoin, what will happen to Ether, for example? Look at the current price. It didn't even update its AL there, but it still flew off quite strongly, it would seem. Wow, wow, here it is. Here is the alt season. You see, 3,500. Recently, it was 1,000. This is... No, this is not alt season, alt season. This is when Ether against Bitcoin gives the same snot up to the dollar it will look like this. $20,000 on the air, you know, yes. But what values are we talking about? Is it real? More than 
Will this happen, right? Well, it seems that it might not happen in the near future, but I still think we can expect that this year. We are in anticipation, but beforehand, there's a solid chance that it will overtake everyone who is behind Alt. Especially, take another look at it against Bitcoin. A shove downwards, there's a huff, it continues soaring. As seen, while Bitcoin dips, Alt dips even harder. Bitcoin is growing, but a bit weaker. Yes, there are some exceptions. We open any single coin that is low liquid, which has just been listed on some exchange. Yes, that's how it looks, but it's clear that the alt season looks a little different. Subscribe to the channel, I will announce the reversal in favor of alts and the end of the Bitcoin correction in the streams. It will be broadcasted live. Well, and other social networks at the link below. There's more content there than I give on YouTube, Telegram, Instagram. First of all, subscribe. I'll tell you about it there promptly. Well, plus there are transactions here and there. And don't forget, you get $100 for registering on Bybit using the link in the description. This is the top crypto exchange for 2024, especially if you have a Russian passport. There are no other options. This exchange has the highest liquidity and the lowest fees. If you're using any other exchange, you're either not making enough money or at least not making as much as you could. Well, good luck.